Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market on this at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for mid-afternoon on the Friday the 15th of June 2018. Okay, folks, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so basically the summation really is China and trade war concerns, certainly for center stage. Ever since the FOMC certainly uh, uh, hilted towards a hawkish stance, the markets in the US certainly have been under pressure. That certainly has been exacerbated to a large extent as well, with uh, Mr. Trump certainly uh, exercising uh, his uh, stupidity once again and uh, levying uh, potential, uh, well not potential now, it's actually coming to effect, announcing 25 cent tariff on 50 billion of Chinese imports, uh, includes goods in China's 2025 plan. So again, certainly trying to curb China's uh, potential strength and influence. It certainly is a, is a zero-sum game as always, but uh, America has no uh, basically other option because America is now on the decline, Asia is on the rise. I think that's already occurred, to be honest with you. Now the Americans are certainly trying to uh, certainly uh, potentially uh, stem the uh, are ongoing damage to a large extent. It's like the uh, the dam's leaking and they're trying to put holes in to uh, stop the leak, but it certainly is uh, is going to break. It certainly is, it seems to be the economic shift now is towards Asia. It certainly has already occurred, to be honest with you. It certainly is damage control at present, and certainly it's uh, not going to work, okay? Uh, everybody, uh, every econo economist certainly knows that tariffs and protectionism always backfires. It hurts your own economy as opposed to them. So it's more about uh, uh, basically cutting off your foot to, to stop uh, to stop the individual advancing towards you, which there's no logic. Why would you cut your own feet? Either way, it certainly is a stupid uh, uh, present. Uh, again, we already know Mr. Trump's uh, philosophy and psychology. He is a dimwit and he is a dunce. Uh, really, there's no way that he's going to win this potential, uh, obviously, uh, trade war. Either way, it certainly seems to be the uh, status quo at present. We have to react to it accordingly. Asian markets certainly have to, uh, went into gone into a swoon. The Chinese market's down heavily overnight, which in turn obviously causes even more damage uh, and uh, risk off in the European markets, and that certainly is the uh, the, the current status quo. The European markets did actually short squeeze high yesterday on the back of Mr. Draghi being more dovish than expected. So again, if you are going to buy any potential indices, it will be European. Okay, so bear that in mind. And, and that really is the uh, fundamental out outlook at present, okay? Uh, in terms of the uh, technical picture, let's quickly go through that with you. As you can see here, German DAX certainly bouncing quite pop. Importantly, again, we retest that pivot top there at 13,160. We did actually eventually close that gap as well. As you can see, that gap closed at 13,170. And ever since then, it certainly has reversed. Again, you are looking at potential support down below, so watch out there. Okay, in terms of French CAC as well, again, it certainly seems to be, again, the gaps at the moment. Okay, daily chart, as you can see, pushed higher. Quite an impressive thrust here. Okay, 60-minute uh, chart. Let's give you an insight on the French CAC. Uh, again, we're retesting that previous resistance equals support, okay? In terms of FTSE 100, again, weekly chart uh, certainly remains bullish. Daily chart, bear flag, certainly coming into play here. As you can see, the FTSE 100 flushing. It will obviously, given the fact that it's more sensitive to commodities. Support now is seen <clears throat> back below at 7650 again, especially given the fact that it hit 779 yesterday. I mean, it's phenomenal moves on the markets at present. Truly phenomenal, okay, folks? Truly phenomenal. Okay, so <clears throat> that's the status quo at present then in terms of the FTSE 100 again going back to 7650 support now, 7650, 7640, that's the zone that we're looking for. Okay, 10 minute chart as well, certainly flushing now coming into support around 7640. Now given yesterday's potential thrust high, it certainly has been impressive as you can see. So yesterday's ECB move certainly triggered a rally and that certainly has been negated thus far. Okay, so that certainly is a summation of European indices. Uh, FTSE will remain under pressure due to US equities under pressure given the stronger dollar and obviously China trade war concerns. European indices will certainly be supported due to the fact that you have the situation with regards to the ECB being dovish and therefore you are looking for a potential bounce and a pop in European equities. Okay, I think that's a good summation really of uh, the markets then. Be sure to visit CFDs.com to take advantage of your bonus and be sure to visit Trade Signals certainly to uh, uh, join the signals and market updates from leading providers. Take care now folks. Goodbye.